tomorrow? No. We are asking for all deportations to stop now. I could have believed that a nation which State Department has put Haiti as a level four and has sent planes to remove its citizens from Haiti because the country is so dangerous to now deport men, women, and children to a nation in turmoil. This decision by the Biden administration is repulsive, it is heartless, it is indefensible, and it is unconscionable, and I might add, it is even criminal. U.S. authorities reported 52 Haitians last Thursday on a flight that originated in Louisiana and made a stop in Miami. There were no children among them. It was the first flight to take place since January, when such deportations were paused amid the renewed violence of a gang uprising and the airport in Port-au-Prince was closed. The recent flight landed on the northern side of the country in Cap Haitian. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security says it will continue to enforce U.S. laws and policy and will deport individuals who do not have a legal basis to remain in the United States. Non-governmental organizations are also calling on the U.S. government to reactivate temporary protected status for Haitians, as it has for nationals of other countries experiencing violence and instability. We've had a Cuban refugee program for 70 years. And it's time that this administration submit legislation to the Congress to ask for the for a Haitian Refugee uh, Freedom Act, just like we have for yeah. Cubans. The repatriation of Haitians intercepted at sea has continued unabated. Miami-Dade County Marine Patrol officers most recently intercepted a yacht near Key Biscayne last Friday, discovering it to be a human smuggling boat carrying over 30 people from Haiti. The migrants were immediately returned to Haiti. According to United Nations, more than 360,000 Haitians have been displaced amid the nation's chaos, with 5.5 million people in need of humanitarian aid. Nitsa Sorodat Perez, CGTN, Miami.